We have received word that currently more than 35% of Texas school children are overweight or obese. Reporter Mado is standing by with an update. We are currently in one of Texas' many school cafeterias, which could be a cause of childhood obesity in Texas as well as the nation. Some compare the changes and the overall causes of school food to fast food. Imagine that. So we ask. Um, I think it's healthier. Cafeteria food right now. Um, cafeteria food here? Bad food. Depends. I'd say with all the changes that have been made and what's offered in fast food, fast food. Okay, I'd say cafeteria food because at least they try to give you, you know, the portions that you need. The cafeteria food. Probably the cafeteria food. You know, it's not always the tastiest, but they do give you like little fruit and like grapes and pineapples and oranges and stuff. Cafeteria food. And apples and bananas, I always see those. I think maybe that's food. Food, food, food. If statistics were reliable, then four of every ten children would be overweight. Three point five. I round it. What do you think of this problem anyway, Dr. Strand? Wild meat school foods are processed. And the fact that they contain preservatives. Yeah, are... English, please. Processed food has chemicals which are toxic. Livers overwork trying to filter out the toxin. While the livers overwork, less fat is burned. Stressed liver, more big people. But wait, how do we know that school food is even processed? And how do we even know that school food is better than fast food? Good question. How do we know? Thank you for watching Anatomy for You. Stay tuned for more updates.